Welcome back to Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Sides of Fate. Well, come. Did not think you would make it this far. Who are you? I am Quietus, the Great Reaper. I am a friend to your niece, Sathara Rowan Lee. Sathara Rowan Lee. Beyond this area lies your real enemy, the one called Harbinger. You must understand this, that before you can go forward, I must first test your mettle. If you are not strong enough to defeat me, then you are not yet ready to face the ultimate truth of yourself, Major Slee. Are you prepared? Come to me when you are prepared, then. Hmm. See you later. Hold on. Now hold on.
filter on my microphone seems to have dropped off. Not really sure where it went. Simon Belmont, because I just killed death. You are very strong indeed. Very well, then. I will take you to the Harbinger. Until we next we meet. Until next we meet. Wait, quiet is I have a... skills. So, you have finally made it here. What is this truth you have to tell me, Harbinger? Why are you my enemy? I will wait no longer. Very well, Emperor. I will. I shall tell you. I once. I was once someone so powerful, so feared, that even my name drove fear into the hearts of those that tried to stand against me. In due time, I would have destroyed everyone. However, my dreams were utterly crushed. You decided to not be what you should be. When you began on the path of honorable darkness, you peered away from my path path of true evil. In doing so, you condemn me to this pathetic and worthless excuse of a life. Everything I should have been, everything that should be mine, is gone. Because of you. Harbinger, I chose not to follow your path in favor of something that will yield far greater rewards. You cannot see this, yet the path I am on now is far richer than anything you could imagine. You are pathetic, worthless. I will not continue to suffer so. You will be made to pay for robbing me of my destiny. It is now time for you to look upon the face of your adversary. Does this face look familiar? To you, Emperor. Huh. What? No, it can't be. Impossible. Magus, there are... Two of you? No. No, you cannot be me. But I am. When you lost control over your powers all those years ago, during the war against the Ring King, I was what came about as a result. Harbinger, you need not do this. We are one and the same. My blood is your blood, and... No! No! Oh. I refuse to listen to your pathetic attempt at reconciling with a piece of yourself and you would rather stay locked in the past. No. No, you rotten son. I am not going to simply quietly into the night. What am I while you exist? An echo. A pathetic shadow. No more. Now. Now you will bear witness to the victory
victory of the Echo over the voice. If I don't survive this, I'm going to switch Kadar out for the uh, White Knight. can't remember her name. Krista, but... Krista with a K. That's the only one of your attacks. It seems that's the only one of my techniques you've inherited. Try this one on for size.
Okay, yeah. much HP Harbinger has. Okay, he's at about a little less than half. So I just need to keep wailing on him until he's dead.
he's almost dead. Levels up, Zeria levels up, Isis levels up. Chris is almost leveling up. You have, you have still lost. You have been defeated, Harbinger. Accept your fate, and I will make your death quick. I have. Accepted that your fate is now sealed. I will see you in the hells, Majus Draken Lee. I win. <laughs> Wait, the in front I tied him. Where is it? Magus, he teleported away from us before he died. I thought only a touched one can do that. The Harbinger was a touched one, Zeria. Though he was a split essence from Magus. Younger in appearance. He was still Magus. Knowing that enabled him to take the diadem. Where did he teleport it to is the question. To the one that has the key to the abyss, I would imagine. No. Oh, no. If the key and the diadem are united, they will unleash Zeon. Well, that's that then. We are royally screwed. Angus, everybody, we still have the Corinth, I remember. We can use that to seal Zeon back where he came from. How do we use the Corinthi, though? None of us have that knowledge, Aubriel. Ah, uh, but my people have that knowledge. I do have that knowledge, Magus. I can lead us to the realm of the Fae from here. Once we get there, my people should be able to get us the answers we need. What is happening? God's up. Of what now? A black eclipse is upon us. I have both the key to the abyss and Just checking to make sure it was recording. And the Infernite Diadem. I will release you, Master. Now, to unite the key and the diadem. Tejasak, Tejaska, Sarun, Alakas, Zia. I am servant to Master Zeon, and I hereby invoke the key to the abyss. And the Infernite Diadem, unleash my master upon this mortal coil. Hearken to my words. I call upon thee, Zeon. M master Zeon. Yes. Zeon. Master Zeon, it is an honor beyond words to speak with you here in this world. Enough of your palaver. I am going to bring this abyss to the mortal plane now. Yes, my lord Zeon. I will begin by destroying this continent, for it will usher in a new era.
outrageous. We have to get the skin and Doran and Crystal before this place falls apart. Everyone, quickly! Intriguing place. May just after we have rested for a bit, we should head to the northwest. To the to the northwesternmost home. The older Fay will be able to tell us what we need to know. the truest of all evils, you need the weapons only we can forge. So that looks more like a pair of nunchucks.
Johan.
wonderful that there was a slut there that looks like it was made oh my god for a special key and uh, some kind of ornate headdress Welcome to our realm. My name is Santa Claus. Elder, I am Magus Dragon Lee, Emperor of Kazarth Empire. Emperor of the Kazarth Empire. Yes, I already know you very well, Emperor. We all will do here. Many of us have followed your, you and your cohorts' exploits, and we know well what has happened. Elder, it is good to see you again. Ah, Abriel. You bring such light to my eyes, knowing that you are alive and well. Now then, to the business at hand, yes? The atrocity of the gods himself has been unleashed. The landmass you call Valdris has been swallowed by the abyss. So it has come to pass, then. Indeed it has, Emperor. Though all is still not lost, you possess the Corinthi, yes? <clears throat> yes, we do. Now tell us, how do we use such a thing to reseal Zeon? In order to reseal Zeon, you must... Bring the Corinthi into the portion, into that portion of the abyss that exists on the material plane. Once there, you must find the altar of Zeon. Place the Corinthi on the altar and heed its words. It will allow you to reseal Zeon. I know the enormity of what a t such a task represents. I will leave you and your comrades to speak amongst yourselves. When you're ready, head for the statue of the goddesses. Danuan Abel. Abeleku. Abeleka. Abo. Abalo. Abaloeka. And Abaloeka in the center of this village. My people and I will invoke upon their power to send you into that abyssal realm. I will wait, await your decision there. Mm. Alright. We have a decision to make, everybody. The choice is to go into the abyss and attempt to reseal Zeon. Or not to go. We've come this far together, Magus. Personally, I'm with you to the end. Besides, I get to take on the biggest jackass of them all and kill him. You're good to you, Zeria, yes. I have not been with you, with you all for very long. Though I know what is at stake, and what must be done. The abyss must be stopped, here and now. I will fight to the end for Zelonia, for my family, and for myself. I hate cats. I hate them now because of one Antocalius. So personally? <laughs> I'll go with you all into the abyss. Chances are we'll run into that damned feline. And I want to kill him. <laughs> well, let me see. This plan has a certainty of death and a very, very small chance of success. I love this plan. I am <laughs> excited to be a part of it. Let's do it. Well, I do not show nearly as much enthusiasm as my counterpart here. I will go with you as well, Magus. I will be doing Queen Rena and the Golden Horn a disservice if I did not see this done. You freed me from the control of the Abyss. There is no way I can repay this debt. Though I am going to try by going into the Abyss with you all. I have a score to settle with Zeon. There's no way I can say no to this battle. I must go. For all that live, I cannot allow the abyss to swallow up our world into nothingness. I will be there, by your side, as always. There's no way I am not going. I'll be damned before I let the abyss swallow everything and everyone we know. I've been here longest beside Zyria and Magus. How could I go back to Ilion and face my wife and child if I did not see this through? That... And a good friend of mine told me that I have to kick some ass. <laughs> it is decided then. 
we all go. I just want you all to know, it is an honor to have you at my side. Sabra, watch over me. For now, I finally go to avenge you. Wait for me, Zayon. good in this game ever came from me not looting. Reeves, here lies Aureli Isetti, the finest elder fae that the fae has ever had. Who possess the Noran relic may enter. I am what is called the memory fire. I can temporarily summon enemies from your pa from the past uh, for you to battle at your convenience. Now are you ready for battle? Anybody's watching Thursday, uh, the 13th uh, of November's episode of Grace Point. There's a line that the priest says, and then the one that comes right after it. You know what I. If you're watching Grace Point, you know what I'm talking about. This is coming. I can feel it here, even in our world. What if you're right and everybody did it? Hmm. It'd be nice if I could somehow expand the FOV. Eh. C'est la vie, I guess. Your decision? Yes. Yes. We're ready. Now let us begin. We must get you to the abyss so you may reseal Zion. We the Fae beseech thee, O goddesses of light and purity, by our hearts, by our souls. Do we wish for these noble people to be brought to the realm holding the atrocity of the gods? Please. Aid us in this. Trippy little piece of FMV right there. We 
must find the altar of Zeon. Okay, yeah. That was stupid of me. I love the background graphics of this. It looks it looks very eighties. Little splash of the nineties as well. And uh, you know, if you know me, <laughs> there's nothing I love better than us. In the eighties with a splash of the nineties. This is starting to remind me of Max Payne. Although fortunately without the invisible platforms. gaze is into you, so shall the abyss gaze. So shall you gaze back into the abyss. One guess as to who the actual abyss is. Sweet piece of music they got playing right there. 
Ouch. I'll see you later with more Chronicles of the Dark Lord.